Hello everybody, it's Miss Dobson here. I miss you all so much and I hope that you're all staying safe at home. Make sure you get your daily exercise as well though, we need to do that. Um, I know it can be really difficult at the moment staying at home, especially when the weather's so nice and bright and sunny. But we need to do it, we need to stay safe, we need to follow the government guidelines, so well done everybody for doing that. Um, I've been getting a bit bored recently, so I thought that something that I could start doing that might be quite fun is weekly videos with some of my pets. So a lot of children in my class know I have got quite a lot of pets, so there's going to be quite a lot of videos hopefully. But this first video that I thought I would do is with Cecil. Cecil is my six month old Syrian hamster. She's a little girl and I know that Cecil's typically normally a boy's name but she was originally called Cecilia and then I thought actually that's a little bit long um, so I shortened it to Cecil and it just kind of stuck so it's get off she's clinging onto my uh, jumper. So this is Cecil she's a little girl she's very cute come on missus go to the camera She's very energetic at the moment. Um, she is brown and white and she's very fluffy. She's got, all oh right, madam. She's got two little ears, four little feeties with claws, a little nose, whiskers, two eyes, and a little hamster tail at the back there. Um, she's very, very sweet and she's really, really tame as well. And the reason that she's so tame is because ever since I got her, ever since she was little, I used to get her, well, I still do obviously, but I've always got her out every single day. So she's got used to my smell, she's got used to me, my voice, she's got used to the sounds that uh, happen in the house. She's got used to basically human contact. So she knows that we're safe. She knows that when she comes out, it's for positive things like playing and getting treats and having cuddles. So getting her out every day, obviously, if you if you get, um, I'm just going to pop her down there a second because she's having a run. If you do get a hamster, a Syrian hamster, make sure that you do get them out a lot because you need to socialise them. You need to get them used to you. Otherwise, they're not going to understand and they're not going to think that you're a safe person to go to. Um, when you do get them, though, for the first day, you need to leave them in the cage so that they get used to their house and know that that's a safe space as well and they can get used to where the bed is, where the food is, where the water is and things like that. Um, like I said, she's a little girl, six month old. She's very tame, very sweet, she's very energetic at the moment. And one thing that she likes to do, which she definitely won't do now, but normally on a night time when she's a bit more tired, let go please, is she likes to sit on my shoulder and she'll normally go for a little nap or have um, a little sleep on my shoulder. Oh, she's happy there. A little sleep on my shoulder. That's something that she really, really likes to do. Are you coming over this side? Oh, she's having a little wander. She'll appear back soon. Um, she likes to sit on my shoulder and have a little sleep. Um, <laughs> can you see her? <laughs> she likes to just snuggle up like that. And that's obviously because she does feel really safe with me. She knows I'm a safe person. She knows I get her out for good reasons. Spot the hamster. Um, she's very energetic so when she has okay Cecil when she has woken up and when she is um, ready to wander about she gets super energetic I've only just kind of got her out now so she's still a little bit slow but when she's woken up fully she'll be hurtling up and down the bed constantly um, and one thing sorry one thing that I where have you gone she's she's gone to sleep in my hood I'll get her out in a second just I'll show you the equipment first so one thing that you can use for hamsters to give them exercise, because I get Cecil out every day, but along with having her out, I also have a hamster ball. Now this has, are you back? She's back. This has a little lid and what you do is you put the lid on it and then the hamster goes in the ball. I'm not going to put her in, she will not come out, she'll hurtle off. Uh, pop the lid on, which Cecil has moved. And then they can have a bit of freedom um, to run around the floor. And it just means that they have got that freedom without the worry of them getting stuck under a chair or getting lost or going somewhere they shouldn't. So that's one way that I exercise her. Another way that I exercise her, which she's going to enjoy, is she has got a hamster. 
hamster play park. <laughs> I'm gonna stand up for this. So she's got a hamster play park and it's basically a wooden sort of play frame. There are some ropes for her to hang on to. Um, it's got shavings on the floor for her so it's nice and soft on her feet. There are ladders for her to climb up and it's basically just a nice little enriching thing for her to be able to get some exercise, have a climb and do things that hamsters do. So that's Cecil's little play park there. I assume she's not going to want to come out of that so I'm just going to plonk her down there for now. Um, but those are some ways that I give Cecil exercise. Hello missus, come back. Here she is, star of the show. Um, Cecil's favourite food is sweet corn and actually she's very good at tricky move her sweet corn so with Cecil the sweet corn that I give her it's um, like this and you hang it onto the side of a cage and then that way she can sort of climb up and nibble it and pull away to it. It's just a bit more fun for her to get her food like that rather than just having it in a bowl. Um, but one thing that Cecil loves to do is hoard her food and that means that she will basically, as soon as I put any food out for her, she'll basically grab it all, run off and put it in her bed and hide it from me. So now I'll come wandering in an hour later and think, oh she's eaten all the dinner, put some more food in and she'll do exactly the same. So I have definitely learned that Cecil is a hoarder with her food and that we do not fill up her dinner that of as often as I used to because I end up just finding it all in her bed. And then she gets in a grump when I have to move it all from her bed. So she hoards her food. <laughs> um, as much as I love Cecil and she loves me, as, lo as much as she loves people and human contact, human contact, sorry, um, Syrian hamsters do not like other Syrian hamsters. You should not keep two Syrian hamsters together. They don't get on. Um, the solitary animals in the wild, which means that they live on their own or just with their babies and have their babies, but then the babies will go off and live on their own. So if you are going to get a Syrian hamster, do not get two. You just get one. And if you do get two, they'll have to have separate cages and they won't really be able to interact because they don't, they don't get on. They don't need to interact with each other. They're quite happy on their own. And obviously... They do like a lot of human contact. They're very, very friendly, like this little madam here, who's very energetic at the moment. Um, I would like to tell you a couple of generic facts about hamsters now, because I'm aware that I've spoken quite a lot about this little madam here. So some generic facts about hamsters. Let's just have a look. Hamsters live to be between two and three um, when they're pets. So if you have a pet hamster, they're going to live to be about two or three years old, but in the wild they won't live as long because obviously they've got to find their own food. Um, there's predators and things like that, so they're not going to live as long in the wild, but roughly two or three years as pets. Um, hamsters were first discovered in Syria, wild hamsters. So obviously, hence the name Syrian hamster. Look at her, cheeky girl. Hence the name Syrian hamster. The first were found in Syria. And... In the wild now, they live in places like Greece and, is it Northern China? Yeah, Northern China and Belgium and things like that. But obviously they don't live in the wild in the UK. We wouldn't see little hamsters just running around on the street. We certainly wouldn't see that. Um, hamsters are really good at digging and hamsters live in burrows in the wild. So in the wild, you would find them in little burrows under the ground, um, in cages and things like that obviously she has shavings as a flooring and then she creates her own burrow so she'll like burrow down into the shavings and make like a little nest and that's where she sleeps I can't really show you that now especially holding this little madam at the moment but I might post a little picture in the comments of um her cage if you would like me to so they like to burrow they're really good at digging they've obviously got the little claws that are great for digging and things like that um, and actually something that I didn't know, <laughs> she's sliding, sorry, something that I didn't know about hamsters until recently is that they are colour blind. Um, I did know that they don't have great sight because they don't. They don't rely on their sight, they rely on their sense of smell. So to find food and things like that, they'll rely on their sense of smell. And obviously that's why it's so important when you first get a hamster to handle it so much so they get used to your smell, used to what you smell like so they know that you're a safe person. Um, but the sight isn't great, colour blind, um, 
and in the wild hamsters will mostly live off of seeds, fruit, vegetables and some insects actually which is another thing that I didn't really know about hamsters so wild hamsters will eat insects or small insects. This little madam here isn't a wild hamster so yes yes she's tap dancing. So she eats hamster food which I'm going to show you now it's like a mix a dry mix of nuts, wheat, um, fruit, veg you can see it there there is some big peanuts in there as well but Cecil really likes those so they've all gone um, so that's what they eat in the wild and domesticated and something that obviously I give Cecil as well oh, she's off something that I'm going to put on my shoulder something that I give her as well are yogurt drops not people yogurt drops hamster yogurt drops so these are made especially for hamsters they're safe for hamsters don't give them people food uh, or people chocolate and it's little yogurt drops they're like little treats and I give Cecil one every time I put her back in a cage and it's my way of saying you know well done you've been a good girl you've been sensible you've had a nice time here's your little treat to go back in the cage with and if I ever do forget which I definitely don't she literally stands at the cage and glares at me like that until I uh, run back and give her her yogurt drop um I don't think I have any more little facts about oh I do actually sorry one more Another generic fact about hamsters is that they are nocturnal, which means that they are awake during the night and they sleep during the day. Now, with a domesticated hamster, obviously, I'm not up at three in the morning. She is. I hear her banging about. But obviously, I do get her out during the day as well. And she's just used to it. So she understands that she does get woken up at different times. And she's OK with that because, like I said, I've been doing it since she was a baby. So as long as you get them used to it when they're young, they're absolutely fine with it. Um, and also, hamsters are rodents, which means they are mammals. So they are warm-blooded, they have fur, and they give birth to live young. I'm going to trick her now, watch her ready. She thinks she's got away, but she's still in my hand. <laughs> um, Cecil, we're going to end this, because I think you're getting a bit restless and you're desperate to go in your hamster ball. So... The last thing I want to tell you all about hamsters is probably one of the um, main things that people think of when they think of hamsters, and that's the pouches. So hamsters have two pouches in their cheeks. Mrs. isn't going to play today. She's furious that she's not getting a good run. Um, they have two pouches in the cheeks, and what they do is they store all their food in the cheeks, and then that's their way of being able to travel with food and hoard it. So basically they'll go out, find a load of food, put it all in the cheeks so they've got tons and tons of it hoarded ready and then they can run back with it, hide it and then have it there safe. So it's just their way of travelling with food and, and being able to move loads of food at once to a different place. That's what they do, little hoarders. Um, I'm going to see if Cecil will take a chocolate drop from me as the last little thing I'm not sure if she will because like I say she's very energetic at the moment bless her she's desperate to go out and have a run but we'll see if she'll take a yogurt drop off me are you going to have that are you going to have it is it yours is it yours hmm no she doesn't want to but she don't normally does take yogurt drops so I will give her a yogurt drop when I pop her back in the cage I'm sure she'll run to the bottom and demand one then when it's not on camera because that's what animals do. <laughs> um, anyway, it was really, really nice to record this. Cecil's actually been really good, bless us, just desperate for a run. Um, thank you so much for everybody that's watched. If you have a pet, especially if you've got a hamster, actually, if you've got a hamster, it'd be really cool if you could, in the comments, maybe put a picture of your hamster or um, the name of your hamster, what it likes to do, what it doesn't like to do, what colour it is. And it's not just hamsters, if you've got another pet as well that you'd like to comment about, feel free to just pop in the comments anything about your pets, anything that you'd like to share with me. And if you think I haven't covered everything, or if you've got a question to ask about Cecil that you think I haven't said, feel free to ask in the comments and I will make sure that I respond to that. But it is goodbye from me, because this little one's desperate to have a run. It's goodbye from Cecil, and it was really nice to chat to you all. Stay safe, everybody. Bye!